Good evening. Today is a very special day here at Kello TV. It is our 70th birthday. Kello is signed on as South Dakota's very first TV station on May 19th of 1953. And I recently sat down with Joe Floyd, the son of the man who first started it all, the place we call Kello Land. KELO TV. When Kello first signed on the air, it was the start of something big. TV news was about to change people's lives. At first, the news broadcast wasn't live. It was pre-recorded and then played back on air. They jokingly called the process live on tape. Joe Floyd remembers working for his dad as a teenager and playing a key role in delivering the newscast. Not like you might think. I'd take that film and then go downstairs, drive it over to the back of Harold's photography shop, take it downstairs, and they would develop it. Floyd would then drive it back to the station where crews would splice in commercials. When they finished doing that, then it was a master reel. I'd take it back downstairs, put it in the car, and drive to Schindler, because that's where our projection equipment was at the time. It was then played back on air at 10 o'clock. Floyd recalls those early years as TV stations across the country were looking for the next big thing. His dad was all about producing entertaining shows that would captivate an audience. He's this guy that discovered Lawrence Welk. <laughs> Lawrence Welk was playing across the studio and he somehow saw him, got a hold of some guys from ABC. They were looking for a program. He says, here's your guy. <laughs> Floyd's dad also wanted a children's program, so he started Captain Eleven and picked Dave Dedrick to play the part. And we copied it from uh, WTCN in Minneapolis, and then got Dave to do it. And then we just kind of developed how, how it should work. And, and as we all know, it worked out very well. The Captain Eleven show became the longest running children's show in America. I'll celebrate 70 years with us tomorrow night as we take a look back at the biggest stories of each decade since we've been, been on the air. The Kettleland 70th anniversary special will be an hour-long primetime show that airs at 7 o'clock Central Time right here on Kello TV. Kettleland News executive producer Anna Peters worked with photographer Ashton Fechner digging through seven decades of archive video. My absolute favorite thing I found was Lo Louis Armstrong. He's on set talking about playing his horn and he's got a scratchy voice and then all of a sudden you see him bring his cigarette up to his mouth. So he's on the Kello set smoking a cigarette and talking about a concert in Sioux Falls. Times have changed. You'll find the 70th anniversary special and a behind the scenes look at how it came together in a Kelloland.com original by Eric Mayer.